Hey guys, it's Amy at Zoe Beck and I'm gonna start my next reading vlog. It is Wednesday the 16th and I am super tired. I got up and exercised and it was kind of a killer one. I didn't sleep very well last night. Just a lot of things uh, just kept happening. I just, I just kept waking up and making noises and then my phone did some alarm at like 4.08 but I couldn't find anything on my phone that would have done that. And uh, it just kind of threw me off. So anyway, um, anyway, so I'm kind of, <laughs> kind of a little out of it. So I'm just doing this really quick update to say where I'm at. I am reading physically um, the Full Moon Coffee Shop. So I am gonna. I'm only. I'm about. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost to the halfway mark. Not yet. Yet. I'd say about forty percent. Anyway, and then um, I. <laughs> have decided to DNF Dungeon Crawler Carl. So um, I was listening to this on audio. That was not the problem. I think this is just not a story uh, uh, a story for me. So um, I really like the RPG or the, the kind of gameplay and the apocalyptic uh, setting of, you know, these people who are, you know, from other forced to to become like being entertainment for other people. And uh, and again, Princess Donut is hilarious because that's the cat. Anyway, um, there are a lot of good things about this and there's good humor, but it's also like things that happen. I'm like, I don't care. Like, I just, I'm not, um, I'm not emotionally attached to them at all. Like there's something, the humor is funny, is written really well. The audiobook is done really well. It's nothing like that. I think it's just me. I think it's just not a book. I um I'm in I'm not enjoying it. So I'm at 33%. So I'm DNFing. Um I had the library book or the library audiobook from Libby. So I'm gonna return that because there are like 25 people waiting in line behind me for my copy. Because there's so many people on the list for it. Because it is, I can see why people like this, and I can see why there's people who are obsessed with this series, but it is just not for me. And I listened again last night I was kind of on the fence. And then um, this morning I listened to it while I exercise. And then just the more I listen to it, I'm like, you know what? I'm just counting down the minutes for me to be done with this audiobook. And I'm like, that's not not good enough reason to uh, listen to it. So anyway, so we are DNFing uh, Dungeon Crawler Carl, which is sad, uh, by Matt uh, Dineman. I do not say that it's not a bad book. As I said, I'm saying it's a really good book. And a really good audio. I think it's just not for me. So I'm not again. It's nothing. I don't think it's the book's fault. I really think it's just it's just not connecting with me. And I don't think it's because I'm just coming off of reading into the narrow dark because they're so different. That was not the problem. It really is just I am like, I just want to get to the next book. Like I'm just like, it was just not a good reason to keep reading. So anyway, um, I think I'm going to try on the way to work the audiobook I have out for from Libby Long Live Evil by Sarah Reese Brennan. Now, again, this is also <laughs> kind of has the humor in it. So we'll see if this one hits me. This is a person who I think she um, everything goes wrong and she's dying. I don't remember if this is the one with the bookshelf fell on her or something. <laughs> anyway, but she goes into her favorite fantasy series and uh, you know, somehow I think she becomes the evil one. I don't know how that works, but, um, it just sounds really fun and I, I do want to try this. And so I did get the audio from Libby. So I'm going to start that this morning and see how it goes. I'll let you know, uh, when I get off work, um, if I stuck with that or I have several others out from the library as well as a lot that I own. <laughs> so I'm just trying to get through my library holds again to clear that out because I seem to stack them <laughs> And then I need to get through them. And again, that is just how we are starting today. So anyway, I am super tired. I don't want to go to work, <laughs> but I'm going to go. And um, so I will uh, check with you probably when I get home. Okay, guys. So I did the same thing I always do as I started the laundry and then turned this on. I completely forget. Anyway, so today has been kind of a weird reading day. Um, it was, <laughs> work was horrible to the fact that the water is still out. So the pipe didn't burst in one place, it burst in two places, and one of them is in a tricky spot. And um, yeah, it's not going well. So it's kind of annoying. So I spent most of today trying not to think about, 
having to go to the bathroom and then, you know, having to use porta potties. Anyway, not, not fun. Anyway, it was just, it was just a hassle. I know it's a small problem, but it's kind of annoying. <laughs> anyway, so I did try, I did start, um, Long Live Evil, uh, by Sarah Rees Brennan. So I think today was just not an audiobook day because I started this, I, I, drew, I listened to it all the way to work and I got about 26 pages in. And it's interesting, like I, I like it so far, I don't hate it. I'm kind of curious to see where it goes. Very sad beginning in parts, but I'm kind of curious. So this wasn't the one I thought it was of what happens. She she does go into her, into a, this fantasy series. And again, she... uh uh, is, is, is the villain, comes in as the villain, and then she's trying to figure out how to save herself from execution is r the first thing off. So anyway, um, I do like this. I mean, there is a lot of humor in it. I just, today was just not an audiobook day. I think I just did too many days in a row at work of a lot of audio when I did, you know, Way of Kings last week and then, um, Into the Narrow Dark this week. So, um, I'm just taking, I took, so I did that on the way to work, but then I never, picked it up again. I did try another audiobook and I went, oh no, it's just, I just don't want to listen to an audiobook right now. So on my breaks, I did read The Full Moon Coffee Shop by my Moshizuki. So I got pretty far um, into this and then I just finished it. Anyway, so this was, this is um, this was really cute. Um, again, this was uh, translated from the Japanese by Jesse Kirkwood. And this is another one of the Japanese ones that are kind of with cat, kind of cat focused. But this one talks, it has some um, astrology kind of, of talking about your life and you're in a certain time period in your life. And these are the things you should figure out, you know, you should be worried about or looking at or changing at this stage of your life. It was really kind of interesting because all the stories were... Um, were interconnected in a really interesting way. And uh, I don't want to say exactly how that was, but it was really good. I, I still, I think this was really cute. Um, I don't, it's not a favorite of mine. Like it's not going to be like that. I mean, it was definitely a, a solid four. I, I did really enjoy it overall. I liked the way it went and what happened and stuff. It was just, it was just a quick read. So anyway, I did, I did like that, even though that had, that was just, Came in from the library, so I read it right away. That was actually pretty good of me. <laughs> anyway, but I need to read the books I own. So, um, so as I said, I just, I just finished that. Because I just, I had only a little bit left, and so I just finished it before I turned this on. Anyway, so next, I was thinking about what am I going to read. I don't want to listen to audiobooks, but I, I do want to read something. So, I did, um, I was thinking about it before I finished that book. That's just kind of how I do it, is I think about where I'm what I'm thinking about reading and I did um decide to go with the second book in the Whisper Hollows series so I just realized I didn't uh look it up to see if I could get a picture of it but um what was that called oh darn it this thing is just being anyway well I'll get a picture up in uh in a little bit um because I can't now remember the name of it because I keep, it's it's so close to one of my favorite Nalingi Singh books that my brain, I can't, I can't remember. No, I, I don't know what it is. I'll have to look it up. I don't remember. Um, anyway, so I bought the audiobook. It's the second book in the Whisper Hollows series, which is I read the first book, at the first of the month. I read it at the beginning of the month. So um, it's a trilogy, so I want to get through that. And I just felt when I was sitting there thinking about what I want to read next, and I didn't feel like any of the audiobooks, and I'm like, and I go, well, what do I want to read? And again, I have all these books here that I could read, but my brain was like, no, no, you need to do a paranormal romance or a urban fantasy right now. That's my mood. I need to do that. And then we can see where we're at. So I will figure out what the book is and come back. But um, anyway, I think I'm going to start that now. Um, and try to get a good chunk of that. It's not very long. It's very, it's actually really short compared to the first book. Um, well, not super short. I mean, it's going to take 220 pages. So it's not a, a long um, ebook. So I'm just going to, it was cheaper. Okay. So it was cheaper for me to buy the ebook than to buy a physical book because she is now doing self publishing. Um, Yasmin Gail Norn. 
so um anyway and so i wanted to finish this series and it was harder to get it was a more expensive to buy a physical that i you know would would want um and i don't want to keep i don't need to keep it it's not a series i think I, i'm going to keep i think this is definitely a series that i just want to read so i thought the ebook would be fine it's just i can't get it from my library so the ebook was like six dollars like 5.99 but i had four dollars in credit due to some things I bought and I delayed the shipping. So I got $4. So it would only cost me $1.99 for book two. So I still need to fork out $5.99 for the third book or wait till I have credits or, or something <laughs> to pay for that one. We'll worry about that one after I finish this one. Okay, I'm gonna go figure out what that book is because now I gotta, I was gonna load it on my Kindle anyway, but um, I mean, it's just not loaded, loaded. <laughs> it's like I bought it already, but it's not loaded, so. Anyway, I will come back. Okay, really quickly. <laughs> it was Shadow Silence. Um, so anyway, that's book two in the Whisper Hollows. Uh, the first book was Autumn um, Thorns. So um, this is the one with uh, ghosts. Um, the town um, up in uh, northern Washington where they're really close to this lake. And the lake actually is kind of an entity. And I think that one... It, um, she has a, the lady of the lake seems to take people or kill them. And this woman, um, is a spirit shaman kind of thing. And so she helps the dead rest. <laughs> um, and, uh, something's going to happen. So I'm going to, <laughs> as I said, that's the book I'm going to start for, uh, tonight. That's just, I felt like it. So, um, I bought it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm in a weird mood. So we'll see what happens later i don't think i'm i don't think i could finish that tonight oh, i don't know it's five o'clock you know a little out after five i mean like five fifteen. so it's not like i can't i don't think i read that much in one night but we'll we'll see i am interested uh to see where that one goes because again it's a, just a trilogy and i want to i would like to complete it fairly soon um i have so many other books to read but i didn't want to start another series i would rather continue series if I can, because there's so many books I'm starting that are first books in series. So, does that make sense? I don't know. Anyway, that's where I'm at. I just wanted to do a quick update to say that, yes, I'm in another weird mood, which happens quite a bit. Can you tell for a mood reader? I'm all the place. I think I'm going to read something and then, yeah, I DNF it. Or I decide, oh, I don't feel like that today. <laughs> so, I'm not getting rid of Long Live Evil. I'm just putting it off. Like, right now, it's not like I'm against it. It's more just I didn't feel like it today. So, we will see. I will see. Anyway, I'll check in later. I got them a new scratcher. My brother said that he, his cats really like these ones. So I, I got one and they really like it. I mean, I did put catnip on it, but you know, Maybe this will help with the, with the claws. <laughs> Truman seems to love it, but Cooper does too. They've been switching back and forth. <laughs> what? <laughs> they like that. Okay, so it's the end of... What am I on Wednesday still? Okay, so I only got about 25% into um, Shadow Silence, uh, book two in the Whisper Hollows. So I really, so far I'm really enjoying it. It takes it it takes place just a few weeks after the last one. So um, we're now, I think that one was more a fall book and this one is more, uh, it's a Christmas, it's close to Christmas. I mean, it's all spooky and creatures and they just threw a twist at me about um I didn't expect it to go there so I'm not gonna give it away but um <laughs> definitely something I didn't think of anyway so that's going well I didn't read as much as I thought I've watched a lot of book too but it was really nice it was just calming and maybe I just needed you know I needed that anyway no big deal so um I'm gonna take that to work tomorrow I hmm I don't know about audiobook. I did. I might try A Promise of Fire 
by Amanda Bouchette. I have been trying to read this book for all year, I think. I've had this book like another year. I think I bought it last year. And I've been trying to read it and um, I want to know if I like it enough because I found the second book at a used bookstore, like the, but the big trade copies. And so I bought it because I had credit and uh, so I didn't pay very much for it. But I'm like, I haven't even read the first book. <laughs> and if I don't really like this copy, um, it's fine for a mass market, but it's, I just, there's something about it. Anyway, um, I want to buy the, the trade paperback. I mean, I'd buy it used, but we'll see. Anyway, I don't want to buy that until I know if I like it or not. And, um, I did just get word from my dad that we might be going on Saturday to Powell's. So I might be buying books. <laughs> and so, and so if I like this, I want to try this to see if I want to get the rest of the series. Cause I, or, well, I mean, I have book two already, but you know, they could be used. We'll see. Anyway, this one is um, The Kingmaker's Chronicles. Um, I think that there's four books out, and I keep thinking there might be more coming. I'm not positive on how long the series is, but it's it's called a, a fantasy rom or Well, it says paranormal romance, but it really is a fantasy romance because it's a different world, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I thought so. No, I'm not. Po it has different gods and things. So she is a... Um, She's a soothsayer, and so she's kind of hiding in, I think, a circus or something. Um, but somebody comes and knows that she is the soothsayer who can make kings because she's able to, you know, tell who's telling the truth and stuff. And so um, if, the, if a king, somebody has them by their side, you know, they're more amped to be a king or something. I'm not sure how it all goes. And uh, so I know that there's romance involved in that, but I'm not sure. <laughs> How it goes. Um, I've just heard so much about this over the over the last few years, and I guess I me I bought this last year, and I meant to read it, and I just haven't. And I think I'm just not attracted to this. I I, I mean I read mass market paperbacks all the time. There's just something about maybe it's just because this one there's just so many words on each page. There's just no space. I don't know. Um, I don't know what it is. There's, it's a weird feeling book. I guess it's not bad. It's just weird to me. Anyway, um, but I want to try it this week so I know if I, you know, if I said if I get to Pals and there's a used copy, then I might buy the, rebuy them in the, um, the trade paperback. But I need to know. So I have the audiobook on Libby. So I'm going to try this. If this doesn't work out, I might go back to Long Live Evil. But I'm going to try this on the way to work tomorrow and see if I like it or not. Or if I'd rather read it physically. I don't know. Well, we'll see. Um, that's it. So that's the update for now. I'm just in a weird mood. So we will see what happens tomorrow. But <laughs> now I got to make a list of all the books that I want because we're going to Pals downtown. So normally, as I said, I live close to the Pals uh, Cedar Hills um, um, location, which is the one I go to whenever I want to go to Pals and where I take my books to um, to try to get credit and stuff. I go there. Um, but the one downtown, I only go to once a year and I go with my dad and we usually spend a couple hours there. We meet up and then, or we go, we show up together, of course, and then, um, we go off for an hour and then we come back and check with each other. Are we, are we done? Are we need another time? And usually we say we need a little bit more time and then we go off to other sections. It's just fun. And then, uh, we see what we got anyway. So, and again, we have gift cards and, I have some credit, so we have a lot to spend. Anyway, <laughs> since we only do it once a year. Um, anyway, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, and then I think after that, my book buying has got to stop. <laughs> I mean, again, I still have some pre-orders that are coming, but I really need to, to calm it down because um, I've already done a lot of damage this month. I did have a lot of gift cards this, this month and uh, credit and stuff on other things that I bought, but and sales and stuff but still I've spent too much money and so as I said um Saturday won't be any money I'm spending it's all credit or gift cards so it's technically free <laughs> so we'll see how that goes anyway that's just a heads up on that um because that'll be coming <laughs> and I have to get ready for that and make my list of stuff I'm looking for because I'll be going to the big store of Pals the one that has multi-floors and stuff 
And a lot of times I can find stuff that I don't find at the smaller. I mean, mine's pretty big, the one at Cedar Hills, but not as big as the downtown one. So, okay. Anyway, so I'm going to go to bed now. And hopefully um, tomorrow, I don't know if I'll get anything done. I might get Shadow Silence done. Because, uh, I mean, I did get 25% of that done tonight. But um, it's not, I mean, it is a little longer than I thought. It's actually 298 um, how many pages? So I misjudged. I think the ebook is listed differently, but the a paperback book is 298. So I'm just going off a percentage right now. So um, because I just I didn't buy that, but I bought the, anyway. It's all confusing. There's too many numbers anyway. So I just went off the 25 percent. Um. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed now. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay, guys, so it is Thursday afternoon. It's almost five o'clock. I just got home and took out the recycling and the garbage. And uh, I don't want to do anything else. I really should do the dishes. And yet, that is not probably going to happen. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I'll get it done. I'm just not sure if it'll be tonight or tomorrow. We'll see. Um, it has been... <laughs> It was a long day today, and um, I'm still kind of in a weird mood. Um, I didn't listen really to anything while I was at work. I did listen to the first 20 pages of A Promise of Fire by Amanda Bouchette, and I really liked the beginning. Like, it was interesting. I'm intrigued. I didn't realize that this was kind of Greek-inspired or Greek ancient times, like, because they're mentioning things that are very from the gods are the Greek gods. And, um, I don't know the town, the, the kind the parts that she's talking about. I don't know if those are old city States. I don't know. They've not mentioned any that I recognize yet. So I don't quite know where we are, but it, it's very, very Greek inspired in some ways. Um, the world, um, ancient Greece. So we'll, we'll see. Anyway. So again, as I said, we're following Kat, who is, um, a soothsayer, or she's disguised as one, but she's got more powers than that. And uh, she uh, is in this fair and this guy comes like right up to her and kind of is watching her. And she doesn't understand. And then uh, things are going to go from there. I haven't got that far, but we've got 20 pages. So uh, we've pretty much been introduced to the people in her, you know, in her life at that time in the circus that she is a part of. Um, that she's been part for uh, for quite a few years. So, um, so it's pretty much found family for that. But I don't know what's going to happen because I didn't get farther than that. Except that something was just about to happen when I got out of the car to go to work. Anyway, and then I just, I was so busy this morning with stuff. And then I actually had to do a drive with another guy to take a vehicle to another uh, shop for something. So I had to take time to drive one vehicle while he drove the one that was going in to be worked on. And then drove him back to the shop. So... And I almost went out. So again, I was almost going to go out to get um, some water and stuff because again, we haven't had any water because that uh, they water finally they got it reestablished about ten. So I'm so glad we had the bathrooms back and the water. I was just it was that was I know it's such a small thing in some ways, but it just made it so uncomfortable to be out there. Um, but I made it through <laughs> anyway. So. I'm so glad. Anyway, um, and then the second, I was going to say, I ordered another porta potty and they never showed up. So I'm like, well, I'm glad they didn't, but I don't know how that's going to go. If they're going to show up another day, I don't know. They said they were going to come today, but I was there all day and they, nothing, no one showed up. Anyway, well, I mean, I was gone for a little bit, but there were other people there. It wasn't just, yeah. Anyway, so I didn't get to get back to this one and I, by, this afternoon, I just didn't feel like listening to this. I will probably start it or, you know, continue it tomorrow. Um, I might. I'll listen to it while I exercise. We'll see because I know that I was able to listen to um, a book while doing the while exercising. It's just I think the big epic fantasies I might not be able to do that too. <laughs> we'll see. But um, anyway, I, I did enjoy the beginning part. Again, I'm only 20 pages in. I'm like 5% in. <laughs> <laughs> that's it and uh maybe not even that actually I think it's less than that I don't know what it because this one's yeah it might, I don't know I didn't get very far let's just put it that way so um anyway so far so good we'll see what happens with that fantasy romance I'm not sure yet we'll find out although now it's like historical I don't know I'm still kind of not sure 
what's going on. Anyway, um, and then I also read um, some pages for Shadow Silence um, by Yasmin Gail Norn. So again, this is book two in the Whisper Hollows. I am, I think I'm about 40% right now. I'm not, I didn't get, I mean, again, last night I got, what I get to 25%. So I got to 40% by, through my breaks and lunch. So not, not too bad. <laughs> not too great either. So I still got a long way to go. So I don't know if I'm going to finish it uh, tonight, but I'm going to I'm going to try to focus on it tonight and get some of that read because I am enjoying this uh, paranormal romance um, overall, mostly because I, I just like the ghostly stuff and the different creatures and the kind of, um, it's not quite found family because of certain parts of it, but it is in some ways also as well, but all the people who are working together to help this community. So um, anyway, I'm going to continue reading that on my Kindle. My little teeny Kindle. Anyway, <laughs> and then uh, we'll see how that goes. So um, I think that's it for now. I don't know. Um, as I said, I don't, I really doubt that I'll finish that tonight. So it looks like maybe I'll try to finish it tomorrow. We'll see. And then I hope tomorrow that I get a good, decent way into this one. But we will see. So anyway, this will continue since, you know, I mean, I know I finished that other book yesterday, but it's, it's not quite, it wasn't quite... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I need to have a little bit more, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to, as I said, I'm just going to chill out this evening and maybe, hopefully I'll get some red. Anyway, I will either check back in this e later this evening or I'll check in tomorrow. And the kitties are really enjoying that box that has the scratchers and the catnip in it. They're just taking turns sitting on that. Cooper's on it right now. Truman's over there eating, but anyway. But I'm glad that was a hit. Okay, it's the end of the night. I'm gonna go to bed now. It's after nine, actually. I should be already gone upstairs, but I was a little distracted. Anyway, so I am recharging my Kindle because I got to 64% of Shadow Silence. So, yeah, still not as well as I was hoping. I was hoping to get to 75%, but I did watch a lot of booktube and, um, you know, that's kind of what happened. Anyway, the point is, is I, I still read quite a bit because I was at, what, 40? Is that? No, I did pretty good. Anyway. Um, anyway, I'm hoping to finish that tomorrow. Um, I am going to try to listen to more of A Promise of Fire tomorrow and get into this one. Um, I think I'm feeling this more than Long Live Evil. I'm gonna wait on that one. I still have that for a week from the library, so I'm just gonna give it a couple more days. Um, but I wanna really get into this one tomorrow. And so hopefully, I think I'm, if I feel like it, I will listen to this while I exercise. If not, I'll listen to music. It just depends how I feel in the morning. And then I think that's it. So that's the update. Not very much. I just realized that I didn't mention that I butchered my bangs. Yeah, way to go, Amy. Um, I was just trying to get them shorter because they were driving me crazy. And I cut them a tad shorter than I meant to. But whatever. It'll be a while before I have to cut them again. Anyway, we'll just do it. Um, so that's it. So anyway, um, hopefully um, we'll get something done tomorrow. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, I will check in tomorrow. <sighs> okay, guys. It is, uh, what is it, Friday? And it's five, about 5.20. 25 I just had dinner because I was starving when I got home anyway so <laughs> it was that kind of day anyway no it was fine work was fine I was really quiet it actually is it, it was a typical Friday where um half the guys were out working other places and there was only me and one other guy for almost the whole day and yes I did have to get on the forklift but anyway <laughs> we survived so um but it was it was fine on that and then I was in a really weird reading mood <laughs> so um or listening I guess I wasn't I'm in a weird mood okay well I've been saying that for weeks now let's just let's just assume that the mood reading is prime right now and that's all I'm thinking about so I did finish and this is gonna flip is uh Shadow Silence by Yasmin Gailnorn so I um got the ebook of this um and I really enjoyed it it's the second book in the Whisper Hollows as I've said and um, I think I was able to finish it off at my lunch 
on my lunch break. It was, or maybe a little after, but mostly it was my lunch break. Anyway, um, I really enjoyed this one. Um, it's really building the story, as it says, as a trilogy. And um, it, they both can, they, it's a first person narrative. So we're following uh, Karis and she has come back to become the spirit shaman for Whisper Hollows after her grandparents' uh, death. And there's a lot of stuff attached to that and things in the past that are in the first book. The second book more deals with one of her friend, her best friend, who is uh, cursed for some reason. Um, we don't know um, at the beginning. And things just keep happening to her. And then uh, it just kind of goes in weird directions. But this is really uh, this is really a connecting book. Like it's um, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fa the found family aspects. And um, it was fun. Oh, with getting to know, she's getting to know uh, people that she didn't know. She's been gone for 15 years, uh, the main character, Karis, and she's there. And now she's, um, you know, she's uh, met this guy and stuff, you know, progressing in that. And uh, this is definitely a paranormal romance, but it's a weird one because it's, it feels like it's a, it's one story, but it's stretched over three books. But it feels different than a lot of paranormals that I read that are mostly, you know, one couple in one book and then it moves on to another couple. So again, this one has kind of bridges the gap between paranormal romance and an urban fantasy for me because of the first person narrative. And it's only her perspective we get. Um, and it, it's just, it's, it's weird to me. But it's definitely, the world building is more on the urban fantasy side, but the but there's still, there's certain things in here that is definitely very much the paranormal romance side. So anyway, I finished that. I'm really glad I did. So I will try to get the third um, ebook, um, the third book, which is Phantom Shadow, I think. Something like that. I'll have to figure out. I'll figure it out when I get to it. Anyway, so, um, sorry, the cat's going for my drink. Look at him. He just goes right... It's just, it's just, they have to. I did buy a coffee for after work because I was good all week. And I don't get a coffee tomorrow because my parents are coming. Well, supposedly. They're supposed to still call me. So we'll see if that happens. Anyway. So, um, anyway. So I finished my ebook. And then I was like, well, what ebook? I didn't have anything, any physical books with me at work. And I was like, well, I don't, my Kindle, I have to be hooked up to my internet to download anything. I can't download anything at work. I'm not on the internet there. So I'm like... Okay, I have to look for something I've re read before. So I looked through my stuff, and is it any wonder I restart or I started to reread *Primal Mirror* by Nalini Singh? No, I think it's been a few months since I've reread one of her books. So of course I wanted to reread this. I think I saw somebody recently read this, and I was like, oh, I need to do my reread. <laughs> so I uh, started the ebook because it was again on my Kindle. And then I remembered I had the audiobook. So I did listen to that on the way home. So I will, but I'm going to flip back to the ebook and read that. Um, because again, I don't have a physical copy. I um, no, don't buy the hardbacks. I buy the ebooks and audiobooks. And then I buy the, usually the mass market paperback. But so far, they have not released that they're going to do a mass market paperback. So this might be the first one in that whole series, which I'm like 22, 23 books in that my paperback might be a trade paperback and I'm kind of concerned because that you know everything else is a mass market anyway I'm gonna keep watching that but it's just I'm not I'm not happy if that's true but I haven't I haven't been able to find that there is going to be a mass market release I don't I'm not happy anyway and again I know a lot of people don't like mass market books but um they're, I mean, I, I do, again, I'm not, they're not my, they're not my favorite. I would say that they are my favorite. Never mind. I lied. <laughs> I pretty much read a lot of mass markets. I, I like to buy trades now, but I still love mass markets. Anyway, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I'm just, okay. Anyway, so um, I'm going to reread Primal Mirror, um, which is, what did I just say? Is it 20, I think it's 23. Yeah, I think it's the 23rd book. <laughs> I'll, I'll double check. I can't remember which book. 22, 23 in the series of Side Changing. It's in the second section. It's not, I think it's number eight. But I will double check. Because uh, again, I just read the series. I don't care what the numbers are. I just, 
Anyway, <laughs> and we're following um, Remy, who is one of my favorite characters from an earlier book um, that we got to know when I was waiting for his book. And then we meet a character who we only heard about a little bit in other books. Um, she's, he's a changeling and she is Psy. And it's just, I just, I just love these books. Anyway, and I needed a reread. My brain, I think that's what I was having trouble with my audiobooks and stuff is that I've been reading a lot of stuff that's new to me. I mean, I read, um, or I listened to, like, it's mostly my audiobook issues I'm having. And I've come to the realization it's because I've been listening to a lot of big audiobooks or longer ones all kind of in a row that were all new to me. So like I listened to Charles, I listened to Oliver Twist and then I listened to um, The Way of Kings and then I listened to uh, Into the Narrow Dark and then, and then I tried to start two other books and I am still going to read A Promise of Fire. This one I definitely liked because again, I read this this morning. Um, while I exercised and then I did it on the way to work. So I'm 72 pages in now and I'm really enjoying this. But today my brain was just like, you need to reread. You have not reread anything this, I don't know if I've reread anything this month. Actually, I'll double check that, I don't remember. I might, oh, I reread the Rector, but that doesn't count. Because that was like, what did I say? Seven years ago and it was, um, <laughs> it was not a book I remembered. No, I don't think I've reread anything in quite a while yeah the rector oh i did reread gold at the end of um september so okay but that was end of september <laughs> anyway and that was on ebook but um and that was another big long book anyway <laughs> just... anyway i needed a reread and i needed an alini sing so i'm sorry um it's been a while because a couple months <laughs> so anyway so I'm gonna read that um again on my kindle tonight but I will this is my next this I will try to listen to this after I listen to that or okay this will probably still be my audiobook I just listened to Primal Mirror when I drove home so um and then tomorrow I'll be with my if I'm with my parents I won't be able to listen to an audiobook so I'm figuring I'll do most of my reading as kindle but you know I'll do kindle or audio to finish this book off, but for sure by Monday, I will be, um, listening to A Promise of Fire again. I think I'm going to put Long Live Evil back on my shelf. I don't think this is the time for this book. My brain is just not, um, ready for that. So I'm going to let the audiobook go. I'm going to return it to the library and I will ask for it again, or I will try to read it physically. But right now it's just not calling to me. And again, my mood is very much directing me right now. <laughs> like it doesn't matter what um, readathons or things I wanted to participate in. My brain is going, no, we're doing what we want. <laughs> so, but I do want to read this really bad. I just, um, I think I'm just going to wait until after I get through Primal Mirror because this is just calling to me because I haven't done my reread of this since it came out um, earlier or in the summer. So um, I um, usually do a reread in the fall <laughs> of the of the book that came out this year, so going to do that now. So anyway, that is my long update. I think that's where I'm at. Um, but um, I am going to probably wrap this up here because I'm hoping if, again, I'm waiting for my parents to call me, but when, if we go to Pals, then I will have some, I will actually have some footage of me not just sitting here <laughs> or at my desk. I will actually uh, have some, maybe film, have some beef foot, you know, what do you call that stuff? Anyway, um, some footage of um, pals if we get downtown, but it just, I haven't heard from them yet. And I, I don't know, we'll see. But that's kind of my update, but that's where I'm going to end this vlog. And I will probably start another one tomorrow. Cause again, I'm just gonna reread tonight and watch a booktube and tomorrow morning I'll have to clean the house before they show up. And then, um, and then we'll see. I'm not sure what we'll do. We My parents talked about going to our, um, one of the wineries that my parents get wine from, um, going and picking up their wine, but not going actually out to the winery, but to one of their um, shops or whatever um, in downtown um, Vancouver. So we might go over there and do that. So I don't know if I'll get to do that or they're gonna do that while my dad and I are, my mom's gonna go do that while my dad and I are at Pals. I'm not sure timing wise. 
that is up to them. So since I have nothing planned, I, uh, I'm pro I'm, I'm at their whim kind of thing. So anyway, so I'm going to go and then also tonight I'm going to start making my list of stuff I want to look for, but really I'm just going to see whether where the mood takes me and, uh, try to pick up some good books tomorrow. So, or hopefully again, haven't heard from my parents yet. So. Hopefully we're still going. I guess you'll find out in the next vlog. Anyway, that's it. Um, I did get a couple, I did get one. Well, I, I finished the full moon coffee shop in this one and also uh, Shadow Silence. Which again, they were just fun, light read. Like I'm again, that was just, I guess that's what I needed after those heavy um, epic fantasies that I read. Um, and, um, as I said, we'll see how it goes. I mean, it's still, we still got a lot of days in October that I have a lot of books I want to get to, but I'm not reading anything that I plan to. So pretty much all, whatever I thought I was going to read this month, pretty much I've stopped and just going, we'll just read what we want. So anyway, that's kind of how it's going to go. Anyway, uh, let me know what you're reading and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.